Hello, everybody. Welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. My name is Dion with the Turquoise Iris, and this is a place where I pop on over to do live tutorials. Um, that's pretty much what I do when I'm coming live, is I'm usually painting. Sometimes I'm painting on furniture, but sometimes I'm painting on canvas. Other times I like to bring on other fellow creatives and do um, interviews and let you guys find out a little bit more about them. But today we're working on part six, and um, I'm not sure if I put that there in the thread or not, but it is actually part six of this furniture makeover. So I was here yesterday and various days before. Um, we are streaming from Instagram and YouTube and Facebook all at once. So if it looks like I'm looking around, I've got three devices all right here together. Um, hi, I see my friends. I see my familiar faces and, and profiles on there. So thank you for the thumbs up and the hearts over on um, all of all of these places, basically, on YouTube, too. So I see your familiar faces right there. I'm so glad to see you. Listen, I told you yesterday. So quick recap. I have to do this every day in case you're on here for the very first time. Um, listen, we are in the middle stages. So when I say part six, um, I'm thinking we still have three or four more parts to do this piece in the way that I want it layered and the ways that I want the colors blended. Um, we're probably going to end up staining the top in a dark and decrepit, which is our um, DIY paints top coat that treats it kind of like as a stain at the gloss finish. Um, but we're not going to do that today. We're, today we're working on a metallic. So all of my pieces, I end up adding just a little bit of metallic into them. Um, and the way we're going to do it today is going to be where the hardware goes and where the hardware is. And then we'll probably drip a little bit here and there. Um, DIY sells a product called um, Golden Ticket, which is our gold liquid patina. And when I say it's a liquid, it means that it's like drippy. I'm going to show you actually. Let, let me show you the consistency so um, you get an idea. So paint is a little more thick. And then like this is the, this is the drip we're talking about here. Okay. See that? Okay. So this is when I say a liquid patina. That's what I mean. So this is copper that I've made. So uh, DIY offers a golden ticket. It's gold and it's beautiful. I use it on my canvases. I use it on furniture. I, I make my hardware look as if it's maybe rusted a little bit and dripped. Um, you can also mix in your golden ticket with some clear wax and you can create a metallic wax. Um, thank you for popping on. Some of you are popping on from different devices. You're cracking me up um, to different social media feeds. Um, but what I'm going to do is actually, I took the golden ticket, which you can tell I use this a lot. Can you not tell? Like, it's almost gross. This is one of my favorite products. So I mix a little bit of marquee red, which is like our darker blue red, in with the golden ticket. And I've got me, myself a copper. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to have my water body, water. I'm having trouble talking. Can somebody fix this? Fix this. Facebook, YouTube, fix this. Hi, bub. So um, my hardware here are these beautiful pulls, and I'm going to actually up gently apply some of my copper patina, and then I'm going to apply a little bit of water, and I want them just to drip just a little bit, okay? Um, we are in no way, shape, or form done with this piece or done with the way we're blending, but here's what we are going to do. We're going to do a little bit of wildflowers along the bottom um, Three or four of my wardrobes, I ended up putting kind of a wildflower garden along the bottom of them. So this will be the first dresser that I hand paint on. I'm not too worried about getting the base perfect because we're going to be putting flowers on top. So I'm basically just getting the colors going here. And then when we apply the flowers and hand paint them, um, we'll put a white wax over it. So everything's going to be really soft and subtle and blended really well but then you're going to have a pop of wildflowers popping off the front. Um, if you are not familiar with my work, I paint a lot of flowers on canvas and on furniture. So it's just, it's just, it's my favorite thing to do. Thank you. You guys saying hello. I'm so glad that you're here. A lot of people popping over onto Facebook and um, thumbs up to you guys. So let's just get started. Um, all of you can probably see this hardware right here. This one, we're going to start right here. So I'm using it's the fan brush from the Turquoise Iris collection. It's actually called the Cheerleader. So if you pop on over to the website and you're looking for it, it's sold with the Magic Pack. 
and it's the cheerleader because I named all of my brushes as if they're a team, man. You got to have the team and you got to have the magic pack. So I use this one probably more than any other brush. I'm actually lightly misting the hardware right now. It has about four different colors on it. I'm going to lightly mist it. And then I'm just going to gently brush this metallic copper over it. Okay, I'm going to let it set there for just a second. And then I'm going to blast it with some more water to really encourage it to get dripping. Okay. Actually, we can go down. Can you all see this one here on Instagram? Yes. And Facebook and YouTube. Don't think you can. Hope y'all are having a great Tuesday. Okay. Gently, lightly, nothing, nothing harsh. The idea is that everything blends together and is very soft and subtle. All right. So now it's had a minute to set. So I'm going to blast it again. And I will pull. I will not be able to do that. Um, for those of you that just said you redistributed this video on Facebook, I appreciate you so much. I love your your words of you your choice of words. So it gets all in those little nooks and crannies there and inside that hardware. And I can see the mermaid tail. I can see the yellow and the red and the, the coral. It's all in there. And then it's glazed over with a little surface of the metallic. You guys, we're trying to get a piece. This is what I want you to, to, to imagine. Um, it's a carousel dress is what I'm calling it. So picture yourself, if you've never been, I have not, at a carnival in France. And you're this carnival that's going around and you see the horses and they're going around you want to pop on, but you feel like you're too old. You get on anyway and you get up close and personal with those carousels that are going around. I'm going to jump on the turquoise one every single day of the week. Give me the turquoise one. That's the one I'm going with. And I want you, they're worn. They have the brass bar down the center. Um, that's what I'm going for. And this is my interpretation of the vintage carousel at a carnival in France. Okay, so that that's where you see my vision, you guys. I'm also going to lightly do this over the this beautiful finial trim here. Yesterday, we added Bohemian Blue. If you missed that, yesterday we worked on this section here and we added a whole bunch of color and then we washed it back. It was really, really fun. And we highlighted the bead trim, too. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to make sure everybody can see me over here. I don't think you can over on the Insta. There we go. Before I spill my water, let me scoot it back. All right, so I'm going to lightly dust this again. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Someone didn't stop me. I didn't spray with water first. Got to stop me. I get ahead of myself all the time. I get so excited. Someone always asks me, do you take before pictures of your pieces of furniture? And I say, well, you know, I have a plan to. But I always get so excited to get started that I forget to take a before picture. But I actually did of this dresser. I remembered. So I have a before. And when I'm done with it, I'll show everybody what it looked like beforehand. We're going to spray a little water and just encourage that to drip. You guys, my um, my creative membership group is opening back up on July 1st to all new members. So if you're interested for just $26 a month, um, we do all kinds of things in the group. And it's open to anybody under any kind of creative. Um, there are no requirements. I have a puppet maker, cookie makers, um, and I have people who don't paint at all. So um, any questions about that, you guys can always email me at theturquoiseiris.com or you can get on the waiting list. But I do some of these kind of things. We do Facebook. We talk about YouTube videos. I mean, you name it. That's what we're talking about. A lot of my members are on here right now because I see their lovely faces. Hi, you guys. Hi from Croatia. Hi from Croatia. So this is the combination of Golden Ticket that I've mixed Marquee with, all from DIY. So it's like I said, here's the consistency. If you missed it the first time, it's literally dripping. It's very watery. And that's so much fun to work with, okay? 
And then this is the cheerleader brush from Paint Pixie that I'm using from the Turquoise Iris collection. All right, so there's a few more areas that I want to do this. Right here where the hardware is going to go. You see, this is all wet. This is why it looks splotchy. It's because it's wet. Look. And you're looking at me going, why would you do that? Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. You got this. You guys, if you're, I want you to hang in there, okay? Just go along with it and just, just trust me. Putting metallic in just a few areas. I can get carried away with this real easy because it's so much fun. Now, this has two coats of paint over the entire thing. Um, so the metallic isn't really penetrating all the way down to the wood. I'm, um, excuse me, the moisture. I'm going to switch sides. I'm going to do these two knobs right here. We don't want to leave any detail untouched. So that's why we take the time to do part one, part two, part three. We take our time and we get it just the way we want it. And don't skip any little details. You guys, I've been painting furniture for eight years now. Um, I started my Etsy shop in 2010 and have since become a creative business coach to many, many, many women and a few men. And I'm having the time of my life. So it's fun for me to pop on here with you guys. Um, there is this midsection right here. I'm gonna actually go in right here at the bottom of it and highlight a few areas, and then I'm gonna spray it. Now, before we move on with another process we'll have to make sure all this metallic and all of this water is dry but we're getting closer to be able to start applying our flowers and hand painting flowers we're getting close you guys so just hang tight with me stick with me this is something that you will see when it's finished in my photographs I promise I'll post them on YouTube under um community I believe and then of course on Facebook it'll be all over Facebook thank you for all of those hearts I don't know who just blew me a ton of hearts over on Facebook but I appreciate you so much okay so we I want to do one more thing I'm actually going to have the gorgeous legs of this piece be more metallic so let's bring everything down I'm going to sit down here on the floor and I'm going to um, lightly brush the legs with the copper as well I'm sorry that I'm so close how rude uh. thank you for the waves I see you I see you Susan Mary I see you guys oopsies all right can we see the legs yes no no All right, you see this red leg? Okay, so the red is gonna act as a really nice background, but what I wanna do on these legs, I wanna highlight them because they are so beautiful. So I'm actually going to grab my Bohemian Blue. Thank you for the yes, and thank you for the heart, heart, hearts. Um, I'm gonna grab my Bohemian Blue and put a really light coat on first because there's something about taking Bohemian Blue, which is my teal, and putting copper over it. Can you imagine that combination? It's a good one every single time, if you ever doubt. Now, this is so funny looking right now because of how splotchy it is, but when we're dried, I promise, it's a seamless look that has just a few sparkles on it, I promise. Um, so trust me, come back tomorrow, we'll be looking better, I promise you. Thank you for the, all those thumbs ups, over, thumbs ups on YouTube. Um, so what I wanna do is lightly coat I want to highlight these legs, and then I'm going to put that metallic over them. Um, let me. Mm -mm -mm. Got a brush I'm looking for. I think I'll use the French tip for this one. Again, I'm going to lightly miss my leg. 
French tip. It's got a point. Water. So I'm going to lightly mist the leg before I apply because I want the red to be reactivated a little bit. And I'm just going to kind of brush this on. Think about how long that carousel's been sitting there out in the weather, you guys. It is not going to look perfect. It's going to be worn. There's going to be parts of it that are completely rubbed off, but it's going to look like it completely wore organically. So that's the problem. That's the goal that we're after. So look here. We're putting some more water on it. Some of that red's pulling through. And the water is pulling it off just in a real organic way, as if it were sitting out in the rain. Gives me all the feels. All the feels. Okay. So now the copper. I'm just going to get it in a few places. So it has just a subtle shimmer. You can see I'm just going side to side real easy. So when this is dry, you're going to see a little red, a little teal, and a little bit of copper. And I promise you, it's a good combination. And we'll be able to pull um, the camera closer and take some better photos. But just at this point, I need you just to trust me. Okay, that's the way I wanted that. Since the bottom is going to have all of this right here, I'm not really touching at this point because we're going to be, all of those hearts on Instagram make me so happy. I'm kind of new to this Instagram live thing. Um, I sent a request to join in. Did you know that I can now do dual broadcasts on um, Instagram? Can I do that on YouTube? Can I do a dual broadcast and bring someone up with me on YouTube? Anybody know? I don't think so, but I can over here on on Instagram. Um, hi, Chicky. Hi, Kelly Weiler. Boom. It's my girl. Um, okay, so then I want to do this leg over here before we go say goodbye for today. We're on part six of this furniture makeover. Oh, did I just spill that? Come on. No, I didn't. <laughs> you guys, I feel like I'm not real organized, but I think it's because I'm shifting and um, I want to make sure everybody has a really good view. And since I have three devices, that's the challenge. Thank you for giving me those thumbs up. Oh, shoot. Instagram, I'm sorry. Oh, thank you for saying it's going to be a beautiful piece. I really appreciate that. Okay, so back to the leg. A little bit of bohemian blue, but I've got to wet it first. And since we're going for the carousel, at an old carnival in France. I don't know why I would say the old carnival. It could be a new carnival. Um, okay, so I'm going to spray it. I want it to wear and drip and pull some of that bohemian blue and let that red shine through as if it were outside and had been rained on for the last 20 years. And then we're going to come back with this droopy metallic that I made using Golden Ticket and Marquee and really lightly dust this. Guys, my class is coming up Saturday with the owner of this paint company, Debbie Beard, is actually coming here. She's on YouTube as Debbie's Design Diary. She has her own channel and almost 200,000 followers. She has the most creative gifts, and she shares them with the world. So she will be here Saturday painting with me for class, as well as Josie Seifker, who is the owner of the paintbrush company. Am I such a lucky person? I am. So then I'm going to lightly mist that metallic again and let it just kind of drip as well. I promise you when I take pictures, you'll be able to see all of this um, a lot easier. Thank you. You are awesome for doing this. I appreciate you saying that. Thank you so much. Um, 
I do have a lot of fun. And frankly, being able to do it with you guys helps me paint a piece faster. So I can't put it off. If I tell you I'm going to come back tomorrow, I got to show up. So I will be back tomorrow. Um, I'm not sure what time. I never am sure what time. We have two ball games tomorrow that I'll be working around. So um, this was part six. If you missed part one through five, you can look at them on Facebook. Under videos, um, you can look at them on YouTube where they're all organized under the carousel dresser. Um, and on Instagram, you only have 24 hours to watch and then they're gone. So anyway, I hope that you will subscribe on Facebook and on YouTube. And I will catch you guys tomorrow for part seven where... I think we're going to stay in the top. I think we're going to stay in the top. Could you do this with chalk paint? Absolutely. Um, DIY is a clay based, also a chalk paint. Um, we only have nine ingredients, but you can definitely try it with a chalk paint. 100% yes. Um, chalk, clay, mineral, those are the best. I just don't recommend it with a, late, a paint that has latex in it. It's just not going to give you the blending like you're going to want um, and that you're going to see with this one here. So you see splotchy because it's wet, but I promise you tomorrow it's going to look a lot better. I'm going to try to start snapping a few photos and I'll be posting them for you guys as well. Um, for now, we're going to go. I mean, I'm going to go, which means you got to go. All right, you guys, thanks for joining me. I appreciate you.